best thing about riding the wall of death is I get to scare myself every day. <laughs> Life as a wall of death ride is it's definitely not boring. You, you get the buzz from you having 300 people at, at the top cheering you on. There's nothing like it, really. My wife does most all the bookwork and she's the front of the house. My son does all the trick riding now. He's been riding since he was 14. And uh, my daughter, she rides on the handlebars with us. So it's a real family business. When I see Duke up there, I'm, I'm a bit, bit scared, but I'm very proud. I mean, you know, for me, he is the best in the world. He, some of the tricks he's doing, nobody else does. And my daughter, well, you know, she's beautiful and I've got to look after her, so <laughs> that's it. I'm renowned to be the only person in the world that can sit completely backwards while going around on a vertical wall. I've been trying to do the trick for many years. I've been practicing and uh, to finally do it was an amazing feeling. When I see my, my dad and my sister on the bike, I'm proud to see them do it. It's, it's amazing that, that it's a family run show. Um, yeah, my sister, I've been on the handlebars since she was 12 years old. So to see her like develop on the wall of death is amazing. My dad bought the wall and put it up in, at home. And I used to come home from school and used to practice. And every, every day I used to come home from school and, and want to have a go on the wall. We uh, ride a 1920s Indian Scout motorcycle. Basically, when the wall was originated, there was two major brands, Harley and Indian. Harley would leak oil and weren't very reliable. So the bike of choice was an Indian Scout. You can move about on the bike, you can go side saddle, come, you can climb all over the tank, put both feet over the handlebars. And, uh, and it's, it's just an amazing bike to look at and think that it's 90 years old. The Walls of Death, their heyday was in the 1950s and 60s. And they started in the 20s because they didn't have TV then. So it was, uh, that was their entertainment and it was real entertainment. You know, this was the original extreme sport. Back in the 50s, there was uh, hundreds of Walls of Death and they were all competing against each other. So we were trying to take it back to that era where we're pushing the limits of what we can do on the wall of death. I don't dress up for the, for the show. This is how I am every day. Most of my life I'm in a t-shirt, turned up jeans and uh, boots, and that's it, that's, that's it, you know. I'll get down and dirty most of my, most of my life.